Welcome back to Unwrapped. You know, when there's a chili bite in the air, the best thing is a piping hot bite of a meaty dish. Now, check out Michelangelo's lasagna, where they not only grind their own beef, but they make their own noodles from scratch. Boy, that'll really warm you up. Most people agree when you're feeding a big family, lasagna is a hearty meal that sticks to your ribs. Lasagna is one of the mainstays. Make a, a nice big tray of lasagna and you, you could feed the whole family with it. Michelangelo's lasagna was started by none other than mom. I think it all started when I was raising my boys and I used to cook a lot and they used to bring their friends over and they used to comment on my cooking and then said I should open a restaurant. So we opened a family restaurant. And then we worked our way into supermarkets and then before you know it, we were selling across the country. Today at their factory in Austin, Texas, they assemble over 10,000 trays of lasagna every hour. And it all starts with garlic. Ah, there's nothing better than starting out a morning with nice fresh garlic. Ah. A machine chops up the garlic. 200 pounds an hour. They saute the garlic with onions for about 30 minutes. Then they add tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. If you take all the tomatoes we use in a day, we can fill up an Olympic swimming pool. Now it's time to bring on the beef. Here we use a steam jacketed kettle. It's got high pressure steam in it so we can get very quick sear to, to the meat. Next, they add onions. Then they boost the flavor even more with massive bags of spices. It's just a little bit of spices that we use here at Michelangelo's in our kitchen. I tell you, all the way from Italy, it's a long walk with the spice bags on your shoulder. And here's something that might surprise you. Michelangelo's uses four different types of cheese. Parmesan, mozzarella, ricotta, and pecorino romano. 100%. Pecorino Romano, made from 100% sheep's milk, direct from Italy. Huge machines shred the cheese at lightning speed. So we can do 5,000 pounds in an hour. They even make their own pasta. Semolina flour mixes with water to form the pasta dough. From the vacuum mixer, the dough is forced into the extruder barrels where it goes through the extrusion tubes and then is extruded through the dyes, which creates the form. Next, the pasta passes through a dryer almost as long as the factory. And you'll never guess how long it takes. From start to finish, it takes about roughly 14 hours. After the pasta is dried, it's blanched to soften up. Now it's time to layer the lasagna. The meat and sauce are pumped through pipes and into trays. They add the al dente noodles by hand and another splash of sauce. After another noodle, they spread on a cheesy blend of mozzarella and ricotta. Ricotta is the cornerstone of making a good lasagna. Oh my gosh, look how nice and creamy it is, bright white. Finally, they add two more layers of pasta and sauce and top it with shredded cheese. Then it heads to the freezer and it's off to lasagna lovers across the country. So all you have to do is heat it and eat it. That's one comfort food made with pride. Beautiful lasagna. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, You're Mom. welcome.